A very common question I get on cncking.com, probably on a weekly basis, is somebody asking me either, is a laser better than a router or a 3D printer, or they think the laser is the best, or whatever. People are very confused about the differences between the different CNC machines. So this video will focus on the differences, the costs, and the benefits of each one. Before we jump into each CNC machine in more detail, let's see what they all have in common first. One, they all need electricity. And two, they all need a computer. The computer controls the CNC machine. So you input the design files, and that tells the CNC machine what to do. Now let's look at the first one, the laser cutter, and then we'll look at the table router, and at, after that, we'll take a look at the 3D printer. So let's head off to the shed, and let's look at them in more detail. What I have next to me here is a 60 watt Trotec Speedy 300. Let's focus on the inside production area so you can really see the differences between a CNC router and a CNC laser cutter and engraver. I put two samples in from my Sydney Harbor Bridge just to help illustrate the differences between this and a router. What I want you to notice is the inside. It's a sharp 90 degree angle. That's something that's not possible with a router because you have a round bit. The other thing here is the infinitely small line width. This is the amount of material removed when you do laser cutting. Now with a CNC router, you have a much larger bit so more material is removed. Also, the lens is not actually touching the material. It's just a beam of light. As a result, you don't have anything pushing or pulling or tearing into the material itself. So hold down, well, you don't need any. All you need to do is slide in the sheet and cut away or engrave. One more thing I want you to notice is the edges. Uh, for wood, you always have burning there because, again, it's burning through the material. It's a very hot concentrated beam of light. Right next to me is the world's best wood chipper. It's called a ShopBot desktop. You gotta wear protective equipment on you because it's a very different machine from the laser you saw earlier. Let's take a look at the work area and focus in on the differences. I hope that the first thing you've noticed here is the sacrificial board that I have at the bottom of my ShopBot desktop. The reason for this is very simple. Here is the router. It spins really, really fast. And because it has to pull and push and throw itself into the material to cut it or engrave it, it would actually cut into your machine if you didn't have this. Now this is good because it means you could have beveled edges and you could have multiple layers of material cut at the same time. This is bad because the bit itself will eventually wear out and break. Now when it does break, it's a pretty easy process to put a new one in. Well, for a laser, you only have the tube to worry about, and that's fine for years, if not decades. 
Let's take a look at this model here. You notice that the inside edges are round. Again, if I wanted to, I could have put dog bones and have a sharp inner edge, but I'll never have a true 90 degree straight edge like I will with the laser. Another major difference between a laser and a router is that for a laser, after the material has been cut and engraved, it's vaporized as fumes and easily extracted. This one here, you end up with wood chips in my case, and that's a lot of dust and debris that ends up being on the board itself. In this case, if this bit goes over and again and again, you end up introducing a lot of extra wear and tear on your machine. So it's very important to have a good extraction system, in this case a vacuum cleaner, to remove it. All right, let's talk a little bit about safety with CNC machines. Again, they're machines. They don't care about you. They don't care about your feelings. They don't care if you're touching the machine or not. I find this actually pretty safe. I can't put my finger into the router unless I'm stupid enough to open it and grab it. Then my hand is gone. And whose fault was that? It was my fault. If I decide to have an arm bar with this thing, my arm is broken. Again, whose fault it is? My fault. I find this incredibly safe. The reason is it's run through a computer and I'm running the computer next to the machine. If something bad happens, usually it's the bit that breaks. You just pause and then you're fine. You can turn the power off or use one of the emergency switches. Same thing with the laser cutter. It has overrides, so if you open the lid, the laser will stop running. Or other kind of machines, they have protection, protective curtains all the way around them. Now, you can override them, just like I could override this and stick my finger in it. And in my opinion, you get what you deserve. Don't screw around with CNC machines. They don't care about you, and they'll take off your body parts. Now, let's look at some video of this thing in action. So now you should be a total expert on CNC lasers and CNC table routers. Now let's look at the last machine, the 3D printer. What I have next to me here is a 3D Systems Cube. It's a wonderful extrusion 3D printer and I've done lots of projects with it and will be doing a lot more future projects with it. Now there's different types of 3D printers. There's this one here that uses POA or ABS. Others use powders or liquids or some sort of mixture of the two. This one, all 3D printers work the same way. They all work layer by layer. Now that might take a bit of time. This one here took over 10 hours. I think it was closer to 11 to print. Can I make this with a laser? Sure I could. I'd have to have layers, and then I'd have to glue them together, which is possible, but it's a pain. Can I make it with a router? Again, I could do it. I'd probably need a four or five axis machine to do it, and that's beyond the scope of my current abilities and budget. What's really nice about this printer is that it's print and go, meaning that I press print basically in my laptop and it goes ahead and does the work. I have this in my living room. You notice the other machines were in the shed. The reason for this is, well, where's the exhaust? There is none. The only thing that smells a little bit is it smells maybe like chips, but that's very rare. The other benefit from 3D printing is Here's the material. When it runs out, I take the cartridge out, I put a new one in. Another major benefit of 3D printing is the resolution. This model here cannot be made with a laser to this resolution with inside corners or rounded edges. Taking a closer look at the build platform of this 3D Systems Cube, you'll notice that it's rather small. 
This is because printing is still very expensive and it's very slow. This model here, although it is hollow, probably costs 10 to $15 worth of material. Now if I use PLA or ABS, it doesn't really matter. The costs are roughly the same. Another thing you notice is safety. There's nothing here to burn me or to cut me unless I touch here, which is very hot. This is a very safe machine. Now again, when this machine is working, I'm usually on my laptop next to it. I'm not actually touching the machine, just like the router or the laser. That's another safety feature that's built into using these kind of machines. Hopefully your head isn't spinning too much. If you want to know where to get all the files to make things with these CNC machines, well, the natural place is cncking.com. So I'll see you on cncking.com, and I look forward to talking to you to answer any questions you have in the comment section below. Talk to you soon, and see you later. Bye.